Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. I have finished off all of the, the randomly Dynamaxing Pokemon in all the gym arenas and it is time to go and talk to Sonya because she has summoned us. You're back already? Hold on a moment. I think I've got it. Huh? That's strange. The Emperor has an opinion. It was that easy this whole time. The benefits of having an electric type Pokemon. I should have known. Thanks for your help. Alright, so Yamper is not only Sonya's assistant because Yamper is absurdly cute, but also because Yamper is useful. Those two weird guys are probably up ahead. Be careful. Alright. Let's see. Anyone else have anything to say? No, you're the uniform shop? I don't need money for anything, so I guess I might as well just finish my collection. Even though I don't plan on using them. I'm treating this basically the same as I as I would a steam sale. Alright. Um Oh, you're a you're a Pokemon right here in the gym. I either didn't know you were here or I completely forgot about it. Alright, so let's go into the elevator. And we are in the energy plant. Is this upstairs or downstairs? Probably downstairs, right? Oh good lord. Well, well, well. Okay, so it's only the sword dude who's here. Um, it seems you have broken the lock and rescued the stadium from their perils. As expected of the champion. You, followers, give them your praise. You guys got issues. What's with these weirdos? They really creep me out. Why are you forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? All the lies and fake stories you all believe. Did you really come that close to invoking fake news, good lord? We did it in order to expose the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. Zacian and Zamazenta saved all of Galar. What a fool! We have always been revered as the resplendent descendants of the real hero. It's all because you ruffians had to go and save Galar from Atronatus, and that woman went and wrote a whole book about it all. That's right! You should be ashamed. Alright, so you've got your own fan club here. Uh, you said that the real heroes were Pokemon. You just care carelessly changed history. What does that mean we are? You dare say that our esteemed ancestors were liars. Well, I can believe that you two are descendants of a Galarian king. Um, compare, the, compare the way things were to the way they are right now. It's obvious that the old history was better. Um, buddy... Alright, whatever. My hypothesis was that Zacian and Zamazenta have been protecting Gala region since ancient times. Well then, if we were at an impasse, perhaps we should test which truth is most tr the most... Tr this is a hard sentence to say. If we are at an impasse, perhaps we should test which truth is the most truthy. If things really are as you say, then even if we bombard them with Gala particles, they should remain common stalwart. I get it. So all those sudden Dynamax Pokemon from before were just your little experiments. You seriously want to make two Pokemon that saved us just all run amok? It seems that you are indeed capable of understanding something. Uh, my adorable younger brother is wrapping up the preparations above. You think we'll let you get away with this? Oh ho! So you want to take the lift up? Then you'll have to defeat us. Oh yeah. Alright, Hop and Piers, you take care of the losers. I'm gonna take care of the, the sword guy who's probably going to give me the most experience points. Alright. <clears throat> this time I shall show you the opulent Pokemon I have raised explicitly for this battle. Yeah, so if you're go I I generally don't get super political on, on YouTube, but if um if I may for just a minute, as a general rule, the people who say that things are better in in, in the times of old are generally the people with skin in the game more so than uh You're a pure fighting type, right? Uh, more so than the people who actually thought, like, things were... People were generally better off in the times of old. Hey. As fighting types go... Hang on, how many Pokemon do you have? You have four. Okay, so I was going to say, if it's more than three, I would be I would be perfectly happy to throw out a Toxic Spikes. Um, you're level 64, though. 
Don't know if I can switch in uh, Irene safely and use Toxic Spikes, so maybe not. Um, no one but Wrigley and Steve can really uh, can really match up to this thing in terms of levels. Okay, so in that case, let us go attempt to... Uh, I, I wish I knew the odds of... of... Uh, uh, secondary, secondary effects on Thunder Punch and Freeze Dry. I think, I think Thunder Punch is 10%. I'm pretty sure Freeze Dry is also 10% for uh, Paralysis and Sword Stance. For Paralysis and uh, Freeze, respectively. And considering that my, uh, my physical attack is, is higher than my special, I'm going to go with this. Your attack is suddenly at plus two, which I don't really like. Um, so with that said, since I was not able to induce a Paralysis or anything like that, Wrigley does have Acrobatics. Meteor Assault. Okay, uh, fighting move as we established earlier, right? Pretty sure. Plus two Meteor Assault, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, sorry, Wrigley. Okay, that, that's... Ugh. Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, Steve, you're, you're really my best option here. Alright, you're weak to Meteor Assault, it's at plus two, so the Fluffy ability is basically going to be cancelling it out. Um, Surfetched. Surfetch looks quite strong. Oh wait, fighting type fighting is only normally effective against you. Um, are you uh, are you not pure whatever? You are pure fighting. Oh wait a minute, fighting not weak to fighting. Okay, me understand. Should have used retaliate because somebody did indeed go down on the last turn, and that would have powered it up. Okay, surfetched. You are going to Meteor Assault my face. You do seem rather slow. Actually, no, I shouldn't say that because Steve is rather fast, as we have discussed. Okay. That was a critical hit. You suck. Oh, you're recharging, aren't you? I, okay, yes. Recharge turns. Um, I'm not going to use the recharge turn to, to send out Toxic Spikes. It's not that important. Uh, I will, however... Attempt to double edge you? I guess I'll attempt to double edge you. I really should have used revenge on the first turn though. That would uh double edge. That would have have done lots lots of extra damage and probably avoided this whole situation. Okay, so Surfetch did indeed go down. Um so you uh the zigzagoon. The, Z the evolved form of the Zigzagoon is still is still doing you trouble, sir. I am also down discharge. I think actually not. Um, the Zigzagoon evolution is still giving you trouble, amusingly enough. Uh, Dublade. You've got you got Sacred Sword as I have seen. I am not going to mess with Sacred Sword. Um. I can heat crash you though, right? That'll do something. Unfortunately, my the two that I usually use for reserve have both gone down here. Um, Steve might not have had it not been for the critical hit, but that's uh we'll make do with what we have. Um, I'm guessing heat crash is going to do an, an awful lot of damage to this thing. I don't know off the top of my head. You're gonna swords dance as well. I don't know off the top of my head how uh how heavy double eight is, but again, pile of coal. Alright, that didn't even do half. That that's a that's a change of plans. Um I don't think Rolladilla is going to survive this. What is your speed stat? Your speed is fifty. Chimerasaurus might be able to, uh... Chimerasaurus might be able to, to outspeed. Um... You will very likely be able to outspeed if necessary. Okay, uh, Night Slash, that'll be my backup plan if I have to, is use Night Slash. That will be super effective. I did not mean to do that. That will be super effective. That will, uh... 
Same type attack bonus, etc. Okay, so Rolodillo's down. I should have really used that turn to heal. These guys aren't a joke. They like to set up with Swords Dance, and that really does complicate my life. I could take fight. I could take super effective fighting moves uh, unboosted, but when Swords Dance is involved, and I do indeed get to go first, when Swords Dance is involved, that really does uh, change the equation. All right, so you do something dumb. That's a critical hit. Good. Do something dumb. You're going to Sacred Sword me. Okay, that's not dumb enough, really. Um. It was better than nothing. Let's see what you can do to Irene. I doubt this is going to go anywhere. I'm really going to have to spend some time reviving people after this. Alright, so Double Eight is going to Night Slash me. You can do that as well. And I, uh... Hmm... Can I outspeed? Um, this is 50 power. Thunder Punch... Neutral Thunder Punch will be doing more damage than a... than a super effective payback. And... I'm not... I'm not going to be able to get to use payback at all if I go second because then I'm gonna die. Alright. Thunder Punch it is. Okay, I do get to go first. And you... do go down. Okay. Um, I'm going to get some experience from that. Not a lot, unfortunately, and everybody else is dead. Yeah, bye, Sharp. You're probably going to boost here, right? You're probably going to boost here. Bye, Sharp is slow, right? Who do I have with a fighting move besides Steve? And besides Euclid's fifth, because counter doesn't count. All right, I think I'm going to need Wrigley the most. Hmm. Let's see what you decide to do. I, I did make the joke at the beginning. You're going to stone edge me, apparently. I did make the joke about at the beginning about about wanting to um, get a maximum amount of experience points out of this battle, and so far that's not happening. Let's at least give Irene some experience points. Right, so you're going to stone edge. If you can miss, that'll be awesome. You do not miss. That is not awesome. Uh, critical hit. At least you got it there instead of on the first usage. Um, not gonna mess around with anybody else here. Wrigley, do your thing. Pyro Ball is easily my strongest move, and you avoided the attack. And I did not avoid the attack. Hmm. Should I just concede this and start over with a, uh, with a fresh team? Night Slash. Okay, yeah. So the option was this, or basically revive spam until you, you're out of moves that can do damage to me, and I really don't want to do that. Alright, so that is my first, that is the first time I've lost a battle in this game. Yeah, let's do that. I'm also going to, knowing that you have a Surfetch leading off, um, which I probably could have like made a note of and uh, known from the last two times I fought you. Uh, but knowing that, yes, no destroy. I know this isn't my first. This isn't my first trip around the block. Um, I'm going to bring out someone who can stand up to a fighting type a little bit better. Um, this may turn into a Steve. A Steve Rampage. I mean, a Wrigley Rampage. Or a Steve Rampage if things go south. Alright. Oops. Buttons. Alright, you don't even say anything different if I have to fight you more than once. That's lame. Alright, Sword Burt. I have failed once, but I've never failed twice in a row. That's the biggest lie I've ever told. Uh, Wrigley. So, you... You are going to you are going to set up with a uh, with a sword stance, right? I also re I also realized that sending out um toxic spikes would be doubly use doubly useless here because let's see because um 
all of your whole team, or at least most of your team. I think you might have had one that wasn't steel type. Most of your team is steel types. So we can we can lead off with Wrigley. And that was considerably easier when I wasn't screwing around with someone who wasn't especially useful to have. Wrigley grew a level, Euclid's fifth grew a level. Going to try and learn anything? No. Fi sharp. Fi sharp. Um, fire, ground, and fighting are your weaknesses. I have fire. I'm pretty sure by sharp is quite a bit heavier than double aid though. And if and if he crashed at middling amounts of damage to double aid, I'm not gonna even try and find out what it's gonna do to by sharp. Um, nobody else. Okay, Wrigley's staying in. <clears throat> and Wrigley is awaiting my directions. I am going to uh, try not to miss this time as I did the first time. Thank you very much, Wrigley. And by sharp went down in one hit. Super effective, by sharp is fainted. And are there any more levels? Irene gains a level. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh what was that? Is that the Golisopod? I'm gonna bring in someone different for Golisopod just for the sake of doing something interesting. Um Thunder Punch, I suppose. Actually. Alright, I want to I want to fire off the emergency exit. And I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure uh, Euclid's Fifth has a decent chance of uh, of causing that to happen. I don't think Golisopod is especially fast. It doesn't look especially fast. Look at those tiny dinky legs. Um, Night Slash will be doing, I think, the most damage. Oh, first impression, no. Oh, that's a bug type move, isn't it? Alright, rip that. All right, so freeze dry and thunder pitcher. Oh, uh, freeze dry also says super effective against water types, so it takes that calculation into effect too. The uh, the special move effect. I didn't notice that before. I probably did. I just didn't think of anything of it. So you are going to sucker punch my face, which is a little bit less than appreciated. I'm going to thunder punch your face. Um, that did just less than half. All right, come on, Cthulhuosaurus. I'm going to thunder punch you again. And is that going to fire your emergency exit? It is. All right, in comes Dublade. And I'm pretty sure we've seen this uh, we've seen this song and dance before. You're going to use Swords Dance on the first turn, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to Swords Dance. And if I need to. I will revive, uh, I will revive the one, the one raccoon thing, Euclid's Fifth, the math, the math Pokemon. Um, you're going to Sacred Swords me, I'm pretty sure that's the end of me. Ooh. Thank you, Chimerasaurus. Okay, just for that, I, I will switch you out before you go down. Steve! Can I actually do anything to you besides payback? I don't think I can. Fortunately, you're not an Aegislash, and that actually makes me think that there's another battle left with this guy because he doesn't have an Aegislash. Um, all right, so I took that with better than half, so I will take I will be able to take one again if I have to, but I should be going first, and I should be able to take it down with this. Right? Oh no. Okay. Your defenses are actually quite something to be reckoned with. Um. I, I don't know if I'll be able to take you down with another payback if it did that little damage. I'm suspecting yes. But if I do, then, well, my entire team is faster than you, so... That's alright. And I, I do take you down. And now you just have, like, 2 HP left on, uh, on Golisopod, so I will be able to switch basically anybody in. Uh, Steve gained a level. Nobody else did. And who am I going to send in in your place? Um, you're four times weak to water, and I don't know if you have a water type move. Um, you resist bug. You resist water if you have it. 
you can probably do enough damage to take down something with 3 HP. Pin Missile isn't the greatest move, but it's not as bad as it used to be, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it got buffed since, since the days of, like, Gen 1. Um, why don't we enjoy this a little longer? I don't know. I just want to fight your full team with, like, an Aegislash and stuff. Uh, Pin Missile. You're going to Sucker Punch me. Which is going to do a lot, but not take me down. And I'm going to hit you with that. Two. One more. Oh, screw off. Can you not use Sucker Punch again? I'm not going to risk it. Steve, deal with it. Alright, Pin Missile is two to five turns, right? I'm pretty sure Pin Missile is two to five turns. I guess I can read the summary. Liquidation. Um, why did you use that? That might not have even KO'd a, a Marini, Irene. Um, because I'm going to forget by the time the battle's over. Pin Missile, two to five times, okay. So let's, uh, let's quit fooling around. Gonna sucker punch me. See how much damage that does. I didn't even break it below 100 HP. And uh, Golisopod is finished. Alright. Thank you and good night. I really should get plenty of experience from that one, having participated in it. Yeah, that is three levels right there. Unfortunately, none for Euclid's fifth, but I'll take what I can get. Nobody attempted to learn a move, and we have defeated Swordbert. Who does Shieldbert battle with? I can't remember. I know I fought him once in the double battle in Sonya's office, but I can't remember what he fought with. So you're going to give me money. And, all right. Irene is evolving. Indeed. There's the Toxapex. I've never used one of these. I didn't especially think that I wanted to either until, basically, I, I caught a Maruni in this game. All right, so Toxapex's data has been added to the Pokedex. I am going to have a look at your stats as soon as Baneful Bunker. I remember that one. Um, that's, uh, that's a defending move, right? That's a protecting move. It also poisons anyone that makes direct contact. I'm going to teach that over Venom Drench. I'm not especially interested in Venom Drench. Oh, you know what? I, I didn't even move my eyes to the right half of, of the screen to look at what your base stats look like. Your, your uh, calculator stats look like, rather. Oops. All right, but anyway, Sword Bird, and so you are defeated. We've driven them back. Now we can head up to the roof. Okay, so there is still more. That sounds like someone that got, like, run over by a car. Um, it appears that my younger brother was given enough time. Should we head up? Yeah. Why not? I'm going to heal with items right here because I don't feel like running back to the Pokemon Center. Um. All right, the game did not heal me. Give me two seconds. And this is Irene's new new distribution of stats. Holy crap! 162 defense, 136 special defense. You're not even level 50 yet. You do still have the Eviolite, and I should take that off, but I'm also now noticing Merciless, the ability. Pokemon's attacks become critical hits if the target is poisoned. I I am keeping I am keeping toxic spikes around. Alright, not sure how immediately useful this is going to be, because again, level 44, my opponents lately have been in the level 60s, but, um, when I take you on an adventure, when I take you on an adventure in the DLC, uh, for sure, I will be, I will be making use of that strategy. Alright, so let me go and remove the Eevee Light. Let us open my bag. I'm going to give you something else. I don't know exactly what that might be. Uh, Black Sludge, I suppose, because you are a poison type, and you can make use of that. Um, especially being a defensive poison type. And I'm going to end things off here. So, my name is Dragonite. This has been Pokemon Sword. Oh, you know what? We have been down here before. This is where we fought, uh, this is where we fought, where, where we fought Putin earlier. Okay. Um, my name is Dragonite. This has been Pokemon Sword. I hope you all enjoyed that. In the next part, it's up to the roof. And I will see you all later.